is the modern vibes on Vibes Radio. 18 minutes past 8 a.m. Remember, you're on Morning Vibes and right now, to ingia kwa mjadala, kwa to public opinion, mm-hmm. na tunai heavy J Baba, a.k.a. Odiwar Felix. Hey. <laughs> it is Felix Odiwar. Odiwar. That's actually the name that is going to be on the ballot. Uh-huh. All right. Felix Odiwar. Odiwar. Jalango. Yes. It's good to have you here in studio. Thank you so much. As we do every single morning, tunataka kuchambua some of the political uh, mm. going-ons mm. or uh, things that we're expecting in this week and things that happened over the weekend. And I think one of the most uh, I think the thing that has really caught guys sideways is Yani unataka kuniambia watu wajenda shule? What to honor degrees? Hey, hey ube. Last Monday. All right. I was seated with uh, Walter Mongari um who actually Nobody. the previous day had been declared as the first uh, out of the 55 that was going he was the first guy to be cleared mm-hmm. and it was a, it was a celebration uh, mm-hmm. with him and his team he actually came here and he shared with us no sooner than ni kama chebukati alikuwa anasikiza hapa akasema ebu ta huyo kijana mumbia kama hapa kidogo na wakamnyanganya hiyo kitu turns out academic papers as cause me ivana na kuna wengine walikuwa wameka hapo akisikiza stories zake hapo lakini wanasema paper zangu zita ivana and then boom sakaja is on the front page of the paper is his degree fake or real what are your thoughts on this? You see, one thing, just like you're saying, it's Ivana. Aija Iva. Aija Iva. So, one thing, like for myself, I took a break mm-hmm. from a lot of my gigs then. Mm. And it was one of the biggest sacrifices I ever made. Mm. Uh, four years, every single evening, mm. to pursue my degree at Daystar University, mm. community development. And I'd already planned and I knew what degree I wanted to go for. Mm -hmm. And I went for community development because I knew I wanted to go for leadership and I wanted to know how to work with the community. Mm -hmm. And if you see how many people go to school in the evening just to get that paper. Mm -hmm. And people will tell you it's just a paper, Mm -hmm. but it makes a very big difference. I can imagine what most people are going through the leaders now Mm -hmm. trying to be vetted you have money it can't buy it Mm -hmm. you can't go anywhere it's one of the craziest craziest things but it's so embarrassing (laughs) yeah but the thing is i would just tell guys go to school like i can imagine how much i lost Mm -hmm. during that time Mm -hmm. i would be called for a gig Mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. and i would tell them that no i have an evening class class." yeah you understand Mm -hmm. and it is four years Mm -hmm. four years back to back Mm -hmm. and there are people even thought that I bought my degree. Yeah. But if you follow me on my socials, mm-hmm. you'd see every single evening mm. I went to class, mm. sat there. Mm-hmm. I went to school, uh, to school very old, by the way, mm-hmm. because I graduated uh, uh, two years ago. Mm-hmm. I think this is the third year. Mm-hmm. And I was, uh, I was, uh, uh, when I graduated, I was 30, 35. Mm-hmm. I was 35 now. Mm-hmm. I was 35. Bro. I was 35. No, we compared to the guys we were in class. Mm-hmm. Then, mm-hmm. But then also there was some comfort because we had even older guys in class. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's something that you have to take. Yeah. It's just not a paper. I remember, like, was it uh, a month ago, two months ago, you were telling us the story of the the lady or the, the guy. The, no, Kenyan, who oh, was 76 yeah. years, yeah, who got who, uh, law yeah. degree. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, it took time. Even Maraga, former justice. Mm. Very, very late. Mm. But you know, it's funny. Let me mm. ask you a quick one, Jalas. Is it possible to be uneducated mm. but have good leadership skills? Wow. We've had and seen so many people who've done very well mm. uh, because there are leaders who, yes, have those degrees. Mm-hmm. But if you've seen the jobs that they've done, the work they've done, mm. nothing compared with some of the leaders who whose education has been questioned. But we can also another. say we can also but, say the vice versa. Mm. Like we've seen people with really great qualifications yeah. that have you know let the office down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, It boils down to one thing. Mm -hmm. Leadership, again, is very different. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Leadership is very, very different. Jalas, unajua tunakuanga na fanbase bigi kutoka yu area yako na nataka wap get get. Unajua tumixizo maluga maze. Ah, okay. Zini watu wa ground. Nima anza kizungu mingi hapa. Nijini mwa anza makizungu mingi hapa. Lazima tujua kama unajua constitution maze. Wacha hiyo. Wacha hiyo. Kama ni mtani, wacha ni washoma. Eh, kabisa. Nini nini. Umengi hapa na makizungu mingi hapa na sikia huyu karibu na meza mingi ulibi hapa wey omera can you switch it wata ni wambie kitu moja unajua leadership ni kitu different sana unakumbuka kitambo in the ancient days now when we had our leaders now akukwa ganaizi mambaya shule but just that 
that vibe that you can lead the people mm-hmm. it is in you mm-hmm. you always know it you mm-hmm. can always feel it yeah. at imaze time yangu ya kulidi imefi imefika yeah but now integrity comes in mm-hmm. you understand mm-hmm. and this thing is not about now leadership only mm-hmm. it's about also integrity mm-hmm. because maze kwa governor si ati ni mchezo bro mm-hmm. sio yeah. mchezo kama na, nairobi you're controlling up to almost 19 billion mm-hmm. yeah from the national government mm. 19b mm. na wezi weka mbili tatu nini ujue gani naenda wapi <laughs> what to be given priority mm. kwa sababu school onge mm. <laughs> it's hard yeah. so what to end shule mm-hmm. uh, na kama imekukata nje this time mm-hmm. you have four years rudi ushikembuku umalize next uh, in the 2027 ukamu ukiwa ready yeah. <laughs> rudi kulize okay mm. um ke, l- let's to natika tu analyze history ya sakaja mm. right um first Sakaja amekuwa akisema yeye ni student wa I mean a graduate alumni in mm-hmm. fact let me use the right word alumni mm-hmm. wa University of Nairobi mm-hmm. when we come through amesema hiyo tumeangalia the graduation list hauko mm-hmm. uh, pia kuna school kuna story ya St Lawrence eh na na tanzo tilikuwa ng fake alienda ingine inaitwa team teams Kampala teams Kampala paka paka nini katolewa booklet ile ya graduation jina onge huko you npr amesema is a student is on going eh bado haijaisha eh so how do you see how do you see this case going because leo ndio leo ndio leo huko kotini If it's really true it's mm-hmm. going to be really hard for him. Ni surprise lakini. Eh? But just sakaja kuwa na hiyo degree. Kusema tu. Unajua sax ni mtu wangu. Yeah. Sax ni mtu wangu sana. Boy yeah. wangu sana. Yeah. Na me all this time mujua pepa zake ziko fit. Yeah. Ata didn't even question even by the time it was trending jana. Yeah. Bado nilikuwa nadhani tu mazini really. watu wetu. Uh-huh. Unajua saa hizi siasa ni mingi. Nilikuwa nadhani tu watu wetu wa azimio ndio wanavuruta hizo makamba. Yeah. Wanajaribu kuvuruta hizo makamba mm-hmm. until sasa ma ma makampo zinaanza kuconfirm hizo mm-hmm. vitu ah eh, eh, ni sema lakini mimi niko na swali hizi kampo zilikuwa wapi kwa hii last election pali kulikuwa na mm. a lot of really questionable mm. do you remember yeah, why is it this this particular time i mean he round he round he round kama competition yako anaweza pata njia kukukata na fuatilie hata kukata by voice. Yaani hapa ni watu pia wanachimbiana. Yeah. Lazima okay. ujue hivyo. Mm-hmm. Si ati ni tu ni, this is politics too. Yeah. This is just not about degrees also. Yeah. Hii bado ni politics. Whatever story you can si use. Ni peke yake. Bado kutakuwa na makesi mingi zenye watu watu, watu wengi bado walikuwa wanataka wakate ma competition. Mm. Eh. Yeah. All right. Another I, I told you I tell you what uh, this tweet was saying. Ezekiel Mutua tweeted uh, and this is this is a, a tweet that I have seen being retweeted a couple of times mm-hmm. and also other people you know phrasing it in their own way. Yeah. Professor Wajakoya mm-hmm. will cause a rerun. I sat down with a group of young people last night and was shocked to hear the animated conversation on why they love the guy. If mm. the talks are anything to go by, mm. Wajakoya will get over 1 million votes <coughs> and that will be a game changer. Mm. Now let's talk about Wajakoya as a as a presidential Mazee wacheni hype. Wacheni hype. Uh-huh. Wacheni hype. Uh-huh. Okay ni kwa hizi hype mingi. Hivyo eh. ndio mlidanganya Dida last time. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Lakini Dida tu kumtoa. Dida Dida, Dida kuna mtu alimdanganya. Hivyo ndio watu walidanganya Abu yeah, Dida. Yeah. Labda labda Peter Kenneth. So, Peter Kenneth eh, na hey. hey. toke ni hiyo hype. Uh-huh. Nataka mtoke hapa kwa radio. Uh-huh. Mtoke nje ya Nairobi. Yeah. Unajua kuna there's also Nairobi conversations yeah. and there's the country conversations uh-huh. toka hapo ende na wajakoya kiligoris uh-huh. tuone kama kuna mtu atarajua hiyo mambo yake ya banki hey, toka hapa uende uh-huh. uende hapa nini hapa masakutu uh-huh. uanze kwenda kwa inchi sasa ujue yeah. what the vibe is lakini um, and i want to welcome Where have you uh, seen in campaign I want to welcome no. uh, Jambi who's just walked no. into the studio. Jambi, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good uh, morning. Jambi. No worries. So, we, 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 at any point. <laughs> 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 I'll just go to the expressway. Ukiwa dago, tunaingia na nini hapo junction junction. Wewe usifanye traffic up but baadaye. Ya wajalango acha nikwambie asubuhi. Hiyo pote kila time. Kila time tukitaita view of Ikagi. Nani? Wewe. Jalas. Okay, ni like. Pole 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 pole. Alikuwa so, anakuja late week. Yeah, yeah, as, 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 as <laughs> Hapana 
<laughs> oda oda <laughs> yes story wajakoya yeah. wewe unasema ati ati ni hype too ni hype lakini wajakoya is not just about bangi i was watching his interview uh, on citizen mm. na running mate wake mm. i mean walikuwa na agendas like i mean ndio kuna agendas mm, kia mm. ndio kuna agenda but what is selling in that agenda is what, is prof the, crossing the, over to ca- pop culture I'd, I'd love to hear what Jambi has to say. Mazemi nimeona this weekend t-shirts zimeprintiwa kwa different clubs in different in different regions across the country. Which regions? Which regions? Na wasema na jiprintia. Wacha cheki waja koya kwa campaign yote. Hapa nje. Hata Mungare CJ kumuona kwa campaign alikuwa anasema 2 months is enough. Mm, yeah, two months. Yeah. Eh, unajua <laughs> unajua unajua, unajua, unajua jealous. Maze 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 yeah. unajua mimi nimekuwa presenter. Uh-huh. Unajua uh-huh. nimekuwa presenter uh-huh. na sahii nimekuwa ingia kwa siasa. Yeah. Maze siasa si mchezo. Usiwahi yeah. usiwahi yeah. usiwahi usi, 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 usi game ni mchezo. Mm. Ni noma. Na mtu asiwahi kuambia ati 2 months or a day in politics can change. Mm. The what you continuously tell people again and again mm-hmm. ruto has been in this for the past how long four years four years mm. right. baba has been for the past 25 years mm. doing the for same this thing. doing the same thing mm. then you want to tell me wajakoya can come with his vibe alafu abadilishe vitu i mean the conversation heavily uh-huh. dio is a pop thing yeah. and it's a hype and it's what is trending yeah. when the rubber meets the road mm-hmm when you now have to go to makweni uh-huh. and again sell and talk to those people yeah. about your policies and everything mazee ule ni tare 13th it's too late i think um <laughs> what do you what do you have to say jambi i think it's 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 interesting mm-hmm. yeah because like uh, jalas is saying first of all our politics has been more or less of the same faces alafu mix mix so mix mix mazee oh only yeah. mix na sheng pia yeah. oh una jana nilikuwa nadhani pia ni ah, ah. kibonga sheng naweza bonga sheng bonga sheng naweza mi mede mi bonga kila mi smarter uh-huh. pia sheng smarter so anyway so the thing with it though is that wajakoya brings in a different vibe like uh-huh. uh, you know we've all seen uh-huh. Uh, because first of all our politics has more or less been the same faces mm, same mm, people yeah. but the message also uh, has been quite consistent if mm. you look at what Raila Odinga has been fighting for mm-hmm. um, social justice economic empowerment mm-hmm. and the same thing as Ruto so Wajakaya brings in a different thing mm. you know and anything different will always attract hype yeah. and in this age of social media and in this age of trends it's bound to go viral mm-hmm. but does that really um his does his message really resonate with the current needs of the Kenyan people mm-hmm. and how far is this message going mm-hmm. so una cheki for example kasa hii hakuna job mm-hmm. unaona mavijana wanaomboka mm-hmm. acheki mtaani akina madha wetu pia mabasari za wana mm-hmm. hosi una cheki si amepatia na umesikia response yake ya ya, ya ma jobs nilisikia eh yeah, amesema ata plan bang bang hiyo <coughs> kitu ina take si how long kwanza alisema ata change constitution alafu hii bang ni ya ku export si ya ku consume hiyo structure zenye na put in place ni gani structure zenye zitaweza sha hiyo bang because you know it's a process mm, yeah. as much as tuna bonga story ya bang pia lazima tuangalie mm. what is it about legalizing of marijuana that uh, th- that that needs to be addressed first mm, of all mm. ukiangalia okay, the legalization of marijuana mm-hmm. um currently and worldwide globally mm-hmm. the conversation is around medical marijuana mm. una check yeah. medical mm. kwa sababu mimi najua very well that medical marijuana even in hata ukiangalia hata pain killers zenye situmia mm. they have some sort of opium they have some sort of marijuana yeah. which is supposed to calm down your nerves mm-hmm. so the conversation should be around medical marijuana yeah. and even even commercial ca- commercially and just to add in so just to, st- uh, to to cut short and add into what you're saying yeah. um in this country as we speak there are already companies that are registered with the Nairobi stock exchange mm-hmm. yeah, that yeah. are really estate in marijuana mm. this was set up from 2017 mm. so the infrastructure has already been there yes. it's just the laws to <coughs> legalize this thing and 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 and, and he's saying i'm going to make it happen and we're going to start planting but, and we're going to start selling but as much as he's saying you know we're going to start planting we're going to start selling what is the current priority need of our people mm. you know what is the current priority need of our people remember we also come from a very um we have di- different demographics in this country wa madini tofauti ukikuja kupiga wa madhi story ndio mpya ni ngori unacheki mabuda pia mavijana ndio wanaweza resonate na hiyo message yake lakini who are the biggest voters in this country hiyo message unaambia kina nani and then like nimesema what is the current need and does his message cut across to everyone because politics must be inclusive Wewe kama mtu usemekana mimi sahii jambi siwezi kamsema mimi ndabonga tu na warasta kwa dago. Hapana hiyo hiyo ni hiyo ni 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 just like a small group of people mm. that have been supporting me mm. but lazima nibonge pia na wamadhi. Mm. Wamadhi pia wanapiga kura. Message yangu kwa wamadhi ni gani? Mm-hmm. Wewe imagine sisi ndio the last for example sisi ndio kwa kuambiwa madhi eh ni aje eh bana kama unapenda reggae sema ra zi unaona sio nasema wa mama wa mama wa mama but sisi tuna madhi ni nini unaona na kitu kingine maybe hamjui eh ukitoka hapa nje 
wa mother wako na kura my friend mm, eh? mm. wa mother wako na kura yeah. unachikiwa zae wako na kura mm-hmm. sana yeah. Vijana wametuangusha sana. Mm. Mimi nataka tu kusema ukweli. Kuna yeah. vijana wengeja mimi. Vijana ah vijana ndio yeah, watakuja rally. Mm. Vijana watakuja rally nini? Mm. Alafu nafanya tu verification yako. Mm. Uko na waseso watu wawili peke yake ndio wako na kura hapo ndani. Mm. Unacheki. Mm. So hii hapi ya wajakoya mm. unless ilikuwa na kata cross mm. kwa kila mtu. Mm. Okay. Lakini ni wote zake. Inge kwa yeah. story the, big sana. The median age ya Kenya ni 19, si ndio? Mm. Mm. Na wanasema ukiangalia yes, okay fine. Maybe um, ukiangalia even Nigeria. Currently <coughs> right now they are uh, registering guys to vote, mm. right? And there's a big call. Unapata pasta anaambia nini congregants hawingi hapa kama hauna Kura. voters card unaenda kwa restaurant unaambiwa hawezi ingia kwa restaurant kama una voters card so what it's done ime push my youth wengi waingie kwa nini now mm-hmm. ibc likuwa na challenge mm-hmm. and this was after right after covid mm-hmm. and right after a really crazy economic time where mm-hmm. a lot of people were lose job mm-hmm. unasikia wa kenya young wanasema hii kitu isha isha decideiwa hivyo ndio au sema kila time but eh. mm-hmm. but, uh-huh. but the narrative changes when unona our the young people kusabu umesema wa mama ndio kuangana vote yes. sana, yes. sana. i mean eventually our mama pia wata fees off kutakuwa sasa na our young mm. who are the majority mm. right na kuna kitu njamia amesema politics imekuwa the same narrative yeah. right yeah. And now for the first time the conversation is a bit different now people are not talking about tribes as much as they are talking about Besha, yeah, jobs and stuff. Is that what makes what Jacoya's call interesting? No, I, I think first of all, um, I think in this in this in this uh, conversation because I believe Vibes Radio is a national station. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think the conversation now should change to me and Jalas mm-hmm. and what we're really focusing on the youth rather than Jacoya because his message is out there. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's not really inclusive. Mm-hmm. Una mm-hmm. as much as it will resonate with some people mm-hmm. vile tumesema it's not going to resonate with uh, the, the majority of the populace mm-hmm. of this country mm-hmm. and he, he he knows why he's decided to go that direction mm-hmm. and it's important mm-hmm. but for me as jambi koikai and jalas as jalas who's vying for uh, langata mm-hmm. it is important for us to talk about the youth in this country and why they are refusing to vote vio swali umeuliza na ni kwa nini vijana wataki kwenda kuchukua kura first of all mm-hmm. i want us to come back on that hold that thought it is now 25 minutes to 9 am remember your morning vibes Let's some bills and then we'll be back this is the modern vibes on vibes radio Get your Gideon boot, your khaki suit, get ready to go to work, kapow that duvet away and start your day. It's a brand new week. How are you it feeling? Yes, I'm feeling really excited about uh, Mambo ya Siasa. Mi, I'm only waiting for two things in this mm, year. General mm. elections and mm-hmm. FIFA World Cup. Anything oh, else yeah. is null and void. It doesn't yeah. exist. It's just going to make a tar. <laughs> <laughs> to make a tar. All right, speaking of uh, vibes, uh, you can get us live on Facebook. Uh, that's yes. Vibes Radio KE. And we're also live on YouTube. This conversation is streaming so you can get to watch it live. Also, you can stream on www.vibes.com vibesradio.co.k remember we're Africa's number one audio visual reggae and dance out station as we say nobody can, can stop, stop reggae. reggae like any for this moment we need yeah. to stop the reggae because we need to talk about politics <laughs> now jealous <laughs> yes. like, mambo yes, yes. because by the way my guys we have heavy guests up at mm. heavy jay jealous and of course jambi wait excuse me could you call yeah. him felix odiwar yes. oh, on, on, honorable member jealous jealous akwa sema felix odiwar odiwar by the way uh, you know you umekuanga umekuanga na you've been engaging with the, the youth conversations mingi sana you you're known to be very philanthropic kuna sana ngama youth when it comes to the businesses you also help them air their conversations some of the problems on your own youtube channel imekonga fit sana but my question is when it comes to youth engagement in political conversations mm. political party mechanisms your own campaign mm. is it run by youth ama uko na watu experienced wow your first you see it's your own mm. battle mm-hmm. number one, mm. your campaign first is you personally It is your battle first to win uh-huh. before you bring in a committee to help you run. Uh-huh. Then we have different uh, people lazima ni kwa kama mother fulani pia mwenye anajua mta vizuri uh-huh. na hiyo ni kutoka kwa kila ward lazima kuwe na uh, kama mother pali lazima kuwe na ka youth pali pia usikika uski sana. Uh-huh. So it's a mixture of everyone oh, because yeah. this thing is just not about the youth alone. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> na hao ma youth wako pia Eh, lazimu kwena wetu wale, wale wanajua mm-hmm. ni akina nani wako hata na hiyo kura mm-hmm. ni akina nani lazima uwaingize hapa mm-hmm. na hata kuna pia wengine hawana kura lakini 
kelele hao ina make sense ina make sense yeah. sana mm. Mm. Una, unasikia mm. na so you have to bring everyone on board mm-hmm. politics is about inclusivity yeah, mm. yeah. na na um, what what do you find are the biggest challenges um, especially you in a party you mm. as an independent mm. when you're going to campaign i'm going to start with jambi yeah. ni challenges gani una get ukienda kwa mtama zi unasema yeah sijuni watani na hiki tu ulitukwa okay mimi sijai kwa anything i've ever done anything i ever get into sijai kwa ts jini atani na hiki tu nishaingia nishaingia hapo ni mzima mzima so mimi sinanga uoga even though kuna challenges mob for example i don't have the backing of a party so i am going as an independent candidate and of course i don't have the resources i don't have the funds um so it's been a challenge for me to you know cover my logistics through my own funding and through friends um and through anyone who supports you and who believes in my cause um but the most most important thing for me and my uh, message to the young people is that if you believe in something mm-hmm. and if you believe there's a chance for you to make that change mm-hmm. please go for it don't be afraid i mean there are big boys in the game who yeah. got lots and lots of money yeah. but i'm always inspired by the mp um, from meru the young guy yeah. who you know came to nairobi with mm. one sweater yeah. you know alikuwa anaenda ku campaign anaenda na boda alikuwa anaenda swari ngini na matatu eh baada kaingia kiburi ya kenya lakini ana noma kiburi yake ndio kiburi yake ndio mbaya i want to narrow down into that question again the process i mean the process of how he got in is what should be inspiring but mm-hmm. the most important thing for me as an independent candidate mm-hmm. is to also remain consistent through my messaging the challenges are quite many mm-hmm. because then again like i said i don't have the backing of party how and do you deal with handouts because bishtak wa takam ametoka kwa party right. na nasikia mm-hmm. as in from what we hear hapa kila siku yeah kila siku kuna msana call and say mm. um hash mazee alitoka hapa akatuachana 5k na tulikuwa watu 6000 yeah. right so yeah. una overcomeaje hiyo sababu nasikia kuna place nyingine hata wizi ongea na wasee raia ka una kakiru una jeshi nikwambia kitu moja the art of conversation is very important the art of conversation and communication mm-hmm. is very very important mm-hmm. and once you master the art of communication you can get through anything ni kachali uko na machali wawili moja kona chapa na mwingine ana kitu bwa ghetto lakini lugha smart utajikuta unaingia kwa huwa lugha mzee na ata kuingiza very true muke na book na kuchukua doza muda wacha nikwambie vile nyinyi unajanyi mkwapa kwa studio unajanyi mkwapa kwa studio of course kuna places lazima tu itabidi tu umejua venye utakacheza lakini wacha nikwambie sisi watu wa mtatu unajua vile switches ana lugha sawa ukikuja mtaani baada ya wacha nikwambie mademo mababi wameja huko kwetu mbaya sana juu kana anaingiza kwa jua tafanya aliingia unaona jua nakatiwa ajaona ajaona hiyo life lakini sasa mimi mimi ni demo wa mtaa mimi nimetoka hiyo mtaa na wananijua unaona so mimi na kama mwambia nianze mimi kwanza mimi hata sina kaki tu wanyenye wenyewe mnajua mimi kwanza nyie hata ndio mlini changeni kaenda huko si unaona mtu asema yenyewe jambi jo round hiyo acha sisi acha sisi tusimame na wewe mm. juu yenyewe wale watakam tu watatuletea do mm. na hawa kuangi hapa mm. kukitokea noma ni jambi si uita mm-hmm. mtu wa fast unaona so hata hiyo do ikikama utakula yes na mimi mwambie wakule juu ni do yetu pia hiyo mm-hmm. ni tax pay yetu hiyo yeah. ni chapa ya CDF nyingi tujengea machuo mm-hmm. but hatuna machuo mm-hmm. unaona hiyo mm-hmm. ni chapa hivi nyingi tujengea mabaru hatuna mabaru hatunanga maji kwetu mm-hmm. unacheki but kama msia kwa nakiliza kujua uni demo wetu tumemcheki you know tumeona kiguru tumesimama naye mm-hmm. you know tutampiga boost kwa nani ready kupata head start radio radio kun pata head start yeah, just i mean i mean yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, yeah, i mean yeah definitely if you're not on radio would you have unge 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 run um i would still have run whether i was on radio or not okay. because i do believe i want I, i do believe that i'm the change i want to see in my community right. mm. yes yeah jealous hii story handout mazee kwa sababu na nakuuliza swali kwa sababu kuna kitu ume mention umesema saa zingine unaweza kuwa na crowd eh na uangalie crowd mazee wako eh hey, hey. lakini trikota maybe there's only five mm. people hapo wako na voters card mm. but then how are sellers lazima wa wachote wachote mm. what's the point ni sini afadhali tu niende ni uko na voters card shika uko na voters card shika <laughs> akufanywa hagi <laughs> akufanywa hagi yeah, yeah. pia hauwezi unajua kwangu mtaangu mm-hmm si story na ma handouts mm. unajua uh, mimi nimechapasha uh, nini siasa nyingine different sana mm. ile tuna tunafika mtaani instead ya kupatia wasema handout mm. unawekea kwa ka project mm-hmm. unacheki mm-hmm. unaenda kwa garage mm-hmm. unajua ukienda kwa garage leo na hii mashini ya kuspray magari mm-hmm. wao wenyewe watasema eh hey, umsee anatufikiria anatufikiria sana mm. zaidi ya le mm-hmm. zaidi ya leo na washiki hiyo mashini mm-hmm wajua wa msia anatueka mboka mm-hmm. unacheki mm-hmm. so utapata hiyo mashini labda hata ni 30000 mm-hmm. unacheki mm-hmm. ungeopangisha laini inge, so inge so mbili mbili ama so tano tano mm-hmm. hata ingefika lakini wanaona hiyo mashini mm-hmm. hapo mm-hmm. unacheki mm-hmm. unafika pahali umegetia wa mother 
uh, ma overall manini za job mm-hmm. nini hizi mm-hmm. makisu za kukata mboga nini mm-hmm. unacheki yeah. wanasema eh hey, msei anatu anatufikiria zaidi ni ka empowerment imekam mm-hmm. ni bigi kuliko handout yeah. unacheki mm-hmm. na pia ni kwa wanasiasa wengi mm-hmm. handout ndio itakujenga leo lakini from the word go inaonyesha kuwa wewe hata haujali maisha hasi mm. unajua kwa sababu unaona problem hapo instead ya kusolve problem unataka kupewa sisi mbili so mbili mm. if ikiata 100 tao na shida inge solve unge tengeneza sisi pali ama mashini ungewaletea ingewajenga hata beyond hizo mm. 50 days zenye bado zimebaki wa kupigia kura no, no, Jua, mm. another important thing is kitu moja jalas um, i think politics yetu haijakuwa ki address vizuri mm. unachika vile sasa hivi wenda mtaani tunaongea na wa mother mm. ulaka tu chini una have a conversation with them mm. you know we we haven't localized our politics to the point of you go and have a com- you, you, you go and have a conversation with like barazas yeah mm. you know or social or town hall meetings for yeah. example what don't nataka kuongea na sisi what don't nataka tu twende tu tuonge nao hata zani hata wataki do anakuambia sisi hataki pesa tunataka tu kukuona ukamuonge na sisi utuambie ni uko na plans gani na sisi unacheki kwa hiyo nikwambia mtani watu si wajinga si wajinga vile tu watu huaga wanafikiria ti ama politicians wamefanya wataka fikiri ukiana mtani tu apana tuizo maso mbili sombili story ishe acha nikwambie utende huko mtani and you will be engaged you will be engaged what's, what's the biggest problem your constituents are going through my constituents after kubonga nao you know kukanizo mabaraza so meeting, yeah. mm. first of all for the women it's access to bursaries mm. there's a lot of nepotism in our account, in our constituency in terms of how those bursaries are disbursed mm. and access to those bursaries is definitely um, defined by who you know mm-hmm. and how you, uh, you know how much money you give so that you can get those bursaries so how are you going to do it differently first of all we need to have a digital system of mm-hmm. how we, uh, we of how we acknowledge who requires uh, the bursaries mm-hmm and of course they need the students because first of all inside the constitution i mean within the constitution it is enshrined that every needy child in this country deserves an opportunity to an education and through the bursary allocation yeah. so we'll be able to digitize that and we have the information we have the data mm-hmm. of the people that need these bursaries yeah. and for the young people for the youth in my constituency mm-hmm. unemployment is a big thing na kwetu mtani dagurit is two things culture yetu ni vitu mbili football music and the arts yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. mimi ni demo toka dago ready sana nilianza tu dago ready as i playing sound systems huko club za mtaa you know that's where i started from mimi nilikuwa mm-hmm. gadimo wa bass nilikuwa mm-hmm. nasikia tu reggae bass kwa sababu ni culture yetu nilikuta even the ones before me kisiza gariki mm-hmm. alafu sasa nilikuwa natoka reggae tunaenda ball mm-hmm. dago ready ndio was one of the top strikers in this country yeah, yeah. dennis oliech yeah. kikosi dennis oliech alikuwa anachezanga na wacha dennis oliech uh-huh. ile the original santos yeah. yenye dennis oliech alicheza na vijana hatari sana vijana hatari and that culture is still there until today but what have we done to our constituents in terms of football there's been no elevation in terms of sports and the arts mm. there are no hubs we don't have sports grounds anymore they've mm. been grabbed all of them mm-hmm. we've not even been able to see how we can be able to brand our football teams mm. you know commercialize them so mm. that hata kama vijana wanaenda pale kucheza ball we can mm. be able to bring agents who spot them and take them out to play ball i like that mm. lakini sijui kama unaona mambo ya fkf you at a national level mm. jalas mm. kibra what has been ukiangalia na wasi i mean langata ni shida gani unasikia wasi wako nazo maze langata kuna shida tu moja maji 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 mm-hmm. maze langata unache kama jana liko NHC mm. NHC iko na mahauka tao mbili imagine au pata maji mara moja kwa wiki mm. i mean don't imagine all, years. <laughs> all these years mara moja kwa wiki na wao wenyewe wamepush wakapush wanaomba hata please ikuje hata mara mbili mm-hmm. md wa Nairobi water muguna mm-hmm. naenda kukumuona leo mm-hmm. ndaka kumsukuma leo tusukume hata wase wapate maji mara mbili mm-hmm. kuna bohol apo NHC mm-hmm. eh yenye tunataka tu commission in the next two three weeks mm-hmm. hivi mm-hmm. yani wasia wanasema maji mm-hmm. kuna royal park mm-hmm. royal park maze watu wanajenga manyumba zingine ukiona nimeona yani ni hatari mm-hmm. unasikiaga hawajawahi connectiwa kwa grid ya Nairobi water park leo Damn. so watu ni unalipakeja tuseme 35 lakini unatumiaga maji ya kama 20,000 per month What? unasikia ni maji ni sasa ukiwa na watu hii mm-hmm. enda pa south sea mm-hmm maji mm. maji maji mm. alafu shida nyingine kubwa mm-hmm. eh, yenye nimecheki langata is not working for langata people mm-hmm. unajua how's that now let me tell you langata is the biggest constituency in nairobi mm-hmm. maybe you didn't know that langata ina stretch kutoka icd hapa mm-hmm. ina kama inashika ule sereni mm-hmm. inashika south sim zima mm-hmm. ina kama paka baricho road mm-hmm. ishike nairobi west mm-hmm. iende paka high rise ishike na nalindi kibra huko mm-hmm. ipande iende ishike na rongai uko side za nini multimedia mm-hmm. mwisho place inaitwa mm-hmm. Bangladesh yeah. iende hii side isi kanene ngong mm-hmm. uko bulbul mm-hmm. unacheki yeah. na ndani ya langata sauti lenana lenana pia lenana ndani ya ndani ya langata 
eh, ndani ya langata hapa south sea mm-hmm. ukianza tu na hapa nje nema iko iko ndani ya langata mm-hmm. kenya literature bureau iko ndani ya langata mm-hmm. uh, tuko na national oil iko ndani ya langata mm-hmm. tuko na kebs iko ndani ya langata mm-hmm. tuko na kenya livestock iko ndani ya langata yeah. na hizo ni tu ma institutions tu mm-hmm. bomas mm-hmm. ufike kwa ma Makampo, mm-hmm. Strathmo, Riara, Multimedia, mm-hmm. Cooperative, Kwea, mm-hmm. zote ziko hapo, mm-hmm. Park iko hapo, mm-hmm. Barracks iko ndani ya Langata, mm-hmm. Wilson, Amref, yeah. niko na prisons mbili. Mm-hmm. Una sema nini? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unajua most of you don't know Langata. Yeah, yeah. So, unapata kwa hizi ma institution mm-hmm. ni ma staff buses ndio ziko huko. Okay wase uletwa asubuhi wanatolewa wanarudi mm. wana kama asubuhi na vijana walangata nao wengi hawana job mm. sasa msitua kwa chika mkono mm. mayutman mm-hmm. zile za mazee mazee mimi ni dalas mm-hmm. mimi ndio mbunge wa hapa mm-hmm. hapa ni kani mm-hmm. kani iko ndani ya langata hapa mm-hmm. ama galdem mm-hmm. wote wamesoma culture mm-hmm. ni wase wanaweza pika hapa mama wanaweza savo wase mm-hmm. nikiza taingiza vijana kama tuseme watano watano mm-hmm. kwa hizi institutions iko ndani ya langata mm-hmm. niende boma hapa mm-hmm. niende eka mm-hmm. niende siji wapi Ushike, ushike, ushike tu vijana mm. unajua kuna tu time unaweza kugongea msee kwa mjana sorry to cut you short unawa mm. promise hizo vitu ama juu kazi yako si ni policy and of course uh, debating all these things in parliament which is which brings yeah. me to our final question yeah. uh, and i'm going to give each of you two minutes mm. to answer this uh-huh. one yeah. this current uh, government uh, parliament has wrapped up mm. unless anything happens mm. they are currently mm. to memaliza but mm. one thing that stood out for mm. kenyans in yeah. this last parliament is that it was almost toothless it was not independent yeah. right um and this has been shared in different quarters um as an independent right you know because as much as you 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 want to do stuff for your people it will be about legislation in parliament yes. right yes. Yes. That's your main and uh, you as an independent <coughs> uh, maybe take that one and then as jealous you're in a party mm. and what we have seen is party politics trumps everything, everything own, uh, yeah. yeah so we, in in this last uh, parliament we didn't even have an opposition yeah. i mean people weren't standing in, independently so what will make you guys different let me but, start with jambi and for me the difference i bring in first of all is what you've just said i'm an independent candidate mm-hmm. and uh, of independent thought mm-hmm. and my biggest um issue and my biggest agenda once i get into parliament in terms of formulating and legislating policies mm-hmm. is healthcare on a national level we have a healthcare system that has serious disparities and the gaps are very very evident mm-hmm. and one of the things i really want to address is the healthcare system yeah and the universal healthcare coverage mm-hmm. because first of all is it truly universal in terms of can you access medical treatment at an emergency level without being asked to pay money and if you have insurance that can insurance cover you mm-hmm. until the last minute because we've seen instances where you go to hospital and insurance doesn't cover you yeah. mm-hmm. they say ai sasa hapa utajipanga you know is it is, is anyone safe when mm-hmm. it comes to any medical issue in this country yeah. i've gone through a rigorous medical health issue mm-hmm. and i've been through a healthcare system for years and yeah. i know the gaps mm-hmm. i know how to address it mm-hmm. and i also understand the welfare of our doctors and medical staff in this country one of the things um sorry 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 mm-hmm. um what uh, work sorry one of the things we need to legislate and formulate as well mm-hmm. is the welfare of doctors in this country mm-hmm. and how we can manage brain drain today mm-hmm. the government is not sending out doctors for further training in this yeah, country yeah. so when we have diseases like endometriosis for example mm-hmm. when you narrow it down mm-hmm. to reproductive healthcare system and cancer and all of that stuff we mm-hmm. don't have doctors who are being sent for further training what are doctors doing in this country they're sending themselves they're taking themselves out True. and when yeah. you go to this countries True. what happens they are noticed that they are brilliant mm. they are hard working and they are ethical so what yeah. happens these guys take them they take care of their welfare are those doctors going to come back to kenya brain drain Never. but now let me ask you just to add on that right so you're as an independent yes. right yes. you need quorum yes. so how are you going to get quorum to pass some of these things exactly. that you want i think it's through mobilization mm-hmm. through mobilizing and consensus as well mm-hmm. and definitely the art of diplomacy and negotiation okay right. jalas <laughs> which is a lie it's, but it's not a lie <laughs> which is a lie it's not a lie jalas <laughs> i just want to to meet with the jambi in the parliament <laughs> no, jealous, seen, you know jealous the last always, the, no you know the jealous last, has always no, wanted me to join no, this party in the last in the I, la- I know and I, I actually, actually yes. wanted her to join us mm. in here yes. i'm now, giving you two minutes jealous no no first eh, mm. in the last parliament mm-hmm. there are so many independent candidates yes. but it gets to a point where your independence is not even <coughs> dependent yeah. you're, <laughs> you're swallowed into the you're the, swallowed into yeah. the into the whole uh, team mm-hmm. now uh, personally definitely party, party politics mm-hmm. is a big thing mm-hmm. but uh, something i've always wanted to say mm-hmm. there's parliament which is the ideal mm-hmm. okay 
mm-hmm. where policies must be made mm-hmm. but now there are facts about what the ground needs mm-hmm. Easily, I can tell you. Yeah. There are so many, so many good bills that have been passed out mm-hmm. there in Parliament, yeah. Yeah. just lying there, mm-hmm. and are not affecting the people directly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you could be a leader, mm-hmm. not even a leader, a partner with your people, mm-hmm. so that you are able to know what they want, mm-hmm. what community development call participatory leadership, mm-hmm. where you don't come in and start telling people nitafanya nitafanya. Now, if you come tani, ukajua. Is it what they really need? Unajua? Lazima uende kwa say uanze kujua shida iko wapi. Huwezi kama hapo utuambie tutaleta stima. Utaleta stima, stima si uko aga naye. Sisi shida yetu ni ma maji. Hawezi sema mimi nitaleta maji. Na shida sisi hapa ni insecurity. Jealous as I'm running out of time. Kiswahili nataka kuuliza. Why you running out of time? You have the whole <laughs> <laughs> but um one question mm. for you Jalas. Imagine a scenario where you've walked into parliament and the party is saying hey guys go in there and start adding salaries for example. Mm. So you're saying that you're going to stand independently and say no. Of course yes if it's something that is not affecting my people right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll stand and up and And if it's and affecting your people in, we've seen it where pal- p- p- uh, MPs go in there and the first thing they say mm. we want to raise our salaries yeah. that doesn't <coughs> resonate with the people mm. now listen eh? you see my my slogan in this campaign mm-hmm. is called Utu na watu yeah. humanity and people mm. that is where that's the bottom line okay that is one thing that you never leave you as a person mm-hmm. humanity at the end of the day if you have it mm-hmm. you don't have to add another Range Rover mm-hmm. yeah. with people's CDF money yeah, yeah. you don't have to buy another house how many houses obama puts it very nice mm-hmm. how many houses do i need yeah. uh, how many rides do i need yeah. it's love only that. me yeah. love that jambi thank you so much for coming through yeah, um jalas as well uh, sorry mr odiwar felix odiwar <laughs> felix odiwar no, we can't end like that we, we need to send shout outs to our people, to our people. Wait, there was no need listening. of you calling shout us out, here shout out shout out you can't out. even campaign. i have 9 seconds no <laughs> We're at the top of the hour. Oh, you, know you, know you know how many people are listening? You know how many twice. people are Watch listening? Watch out to Tarudi Kabla Tuanze Mix. Yeah. Uh, lazima, lazima. Right now it's 9 a.m. Yeah. That was Mjadola. I caught a public opinion. <laughs> Where you are the MVP. In your area, <laughs> what, what have you noticed that you can be proud of? Uzeme nye ya mazetu lifanyua mm. kakitu wapu lifanyua kazi. So God bless us today as we get ready for the week. Yeah, man. Yes. Also remember, it's 11 minutes past 9 a.m. Officially in hour four, nice and strong. Tutamaliza na mix by ZJ Generali ya mesema kwanza. Ile adoba enya na kupatia kina jambi hapa. Why I say? Alafu pia tuta jala stock finish adoba stance. Nice. Sao. Nimeko uyu, uyu ya tashika tu. Uyu na jua tu manini manini. Uyu. Nobody can Nobody can We up. No, they haven't, eh? But uh, they already. Now, shall we forgive? You know one thing, eh? Uh, it was the saddest thing mm. to ever happen. Yeah. People you trusted, you you treat a much more than family. Mm. The people who thought it was clout, eh? Mm. I don't do clout with such things. Yeah. You can't call people thieves. Mm. You can it is sad what they did. Mm, yeah. But uh Probably by today, what a question I let you. Jesus. Anyway, uh, Paul is sorry that you had to go through that. Them, eh? 12 minutes past 9 a.m. Najwa, akina jambi wana tuko kutuma ma shout out. Yeah, Lakini yeah. kwanza najwa ma MVP wana tuka kubunga na nyinyi. So, watch yes. out kumbwe phone line first. So, you can speak to MVPs. Good morning. Ni nani ya kukwa line? Oya, oya, oya. Oya, oya. Faya mama ni uwewe? Yes, I am. My dear, kwa bog. Jambi kwa ikai. Yeah. Agai, ni uwe? Nini, my dear. Mambo? Most guys are great. Kabisa, kabisa. Where are you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to go to all right thank you so much for mama thanks thanks for mama from hey. Embu. she's actually one of our biggest listeners let's cross over to nani with duke who do we have on the line duke oh dama dama yeah. 
Eh, karibu sana Morning Vibes. Mbenda na Rafo. Karibu, karibu Rafo. Rafo, salimi ya jamas uh, na jambi, ameishia. Ame, ameishia. Okay. Let's talk with Dama. Dama, good morning. Hello. Hello. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Fiti sana. Yes, naito wa Dama, si jama kutoko daya. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Sasa wina, sasa jalas. Ni aje buda. Nikopo Aina na mama zi nime kusikia mi bado nita kwa promise mbutu wangu Na jambi pia na muombea na toka faa Na ina shukuru Na lafta saa na iza changia hivi This time ati ya huisu Kwa hili Uko juu ni wajakoya lafta saa uko kuhibine Vile tuwe uto na itakubamba Na bura na bura Mwenye anapanya kazi Kabisa 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 Alright That was Ya amesema bama Next we have Mwangi ya kwa LD Mwangi good morning Good morning kwa bot Ye ingia kwa mjada lao Nongia na kina jalasu Na ambi aje Eh ya bumpe zimu hapo Jalasu ni aje Ni aje buda ni aje Nini kwa fresh mwanzi gopo ya kopa ya mama Ni aje mwasi mambo Nini kwa fresh mwanzi Ehe Alahu ya po ya jalasi kwa jomjadala Ehe Mazeme kwa bie mwasa Pate kwa za niyange stone kwa za ya wajakoa Hmm Kwa huda jua aati ayo nina ya kibaraira na ruto Hmm Wali ya za kampeni zao like Two years ago Hmm Kutinataka kuambia Kutangulia kwa bazi kulewa Unaona kwenza wajakoya kwa nasambili Anafunga kwa mkono Mbota ni mbili, idhani berwa berwa Hakuna kuchelewa Kumanisha uki mtu kwa mbili ya tubu tutakua tumekafunga Unabaithi unapigia kakura hapi mwazi? Nukura yangu na vuti ya moranga huko nyumbani Oh kwa hivyo tatoka LD wende moranga Mutu wata nitoa LD hapa niende moranga ni wajakoya Ushamba itisho Alright that's Mwangi Mwangi thank you so much Next up we have Jabidi Wagwan Yeah Wagwan Welcome to the show Jabidi Wagwan Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't build up yourself. The last I had to call in this guy when I heard you on radio because there's a lot of inspiration I draw from you and a lot of things to inspire. So I want to say if you're up there, just consider the youth and you know, you know exactly what goes on down here. So um, do whatever you can do to help the youth and yeah, for your mama, build up yourself. You taught us how to be strong in all these times, yeah, in everything for your mama. So there's enough respect and enough blessings and come back, build up Thank you so much, Jadidi. Have a great morning. Jadidi, and I come through up on a share his time. Oh, no, 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 Asante sana Buda You are so specific Then I know you are going to do marvelous You are so specific You have shown it and approved it Asante sana bro So lazima The devil is a lie Lazima komisile nisho mkoda ni mleta Ona hati kupangu Kabisa mti yangu isha sema Wala jalazo hili ni yozafanya kumi zuri Ehe Nyo ni baye toka mashini kwa kumi Yoa ama kiti Wicha kwe moja Dumia mwakupa na wakupa kwa kwa na mitanga mwze jalazo Kwa 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 k
Eh, machine ni kitu moja. Machine na kiti. Koni. Machine na kiti ya kunywa. Yaani ni utapenda. Uko area gani likoni? Liko likoni zero kijesi muka feri tu pafu liko ni police station hapo hapo. Usijali, usijali tuona vinye inaweza fikia. All right. Thank you so much. Alafu tupunga kinaeni mazee. <laughs> Asante. <laughs> All right. Shalu there sharing his thoughts. Finally, I'm going to take one from Rafo has is back from Duberi. Wagwan. Wangu. Eh, hey, Rafo. Wale wanyanya. Wale watu, wato, wale wadenge. Eh, kabisa ndio sasa. Wale wanyanya. Eh, kabisa sasa hivi ni haje. Eh, maje kitu hiyo kilikuwa kusikuku na vijana. Yes. Eh, hivyo hivyo tu ndio inafaa. Na sisi vijana tu gogi yetu unaona. Kabisa mtu yangu. Eh, kitu hiyo pia jalasa, hapo jalasa. Ni aje buda. Ah, uh, thank you so much, All right. As Rafo, let's finally speak to Karanja Akukikuyu. Karanja, good morning. Good morning, mambo. Fiti sana. Hebu tuambie, ongea na wageni. Eh, hey, kwanza gotea hapo MP mtarajiwa da Great South Fire Mama. Ranjos, ni aje? Kwa sana Fire Mama, rada. Uh, safi tena sana, itakwaje mtu yangu? Iko tu sasa. Eh. Hey si tumesema si mimi wa WT sasa nimezaliwa huko Idhaka ehe tunataka kuchague wewe na ndio tuletee magra au na nini na machuo kabisa mm. alafu alafu ile redi ile wakumbuka ile redi ile kumfanya pale kwa meri pale ngando eh eh sasa kisha kisha chaguliwa mtu yangu upange redi nyingine kama hiyo wazimu tukuje sisi wote wacha sana nikwambie hizo regezi na kila mali ya meri ilikuwa ya kwanza sasa hivi tunaingia Vaidhaka tuinge mutoini udhiro alafu tumalizie CT regezi ah kabisa ama upange hata nyingine saa hii eh na entry kwa ni voters card yani nikiingia pale naonyesha tu voters card ndio naingia hapo hivyo ushasema mtu yangu kabisa eh kabisa kwa shukrani sana and you can hear young people are w- to Korada. Is so that the youth are wako, uh, you know, in touch with what's happening in the country? Say yeah. mm-hmm. To go in touch, especially when it, it in a in a in a guza mfuko, in a guza tumbo, mm. you know, in a guza your future. Yeah. You lazimu ha- kwerada. Because politics mm. is everything. It is. It's life. Any final? Yeah. Th- uh, what sasa sasa? Do you part sasa? Do you le jangcha? Hanya luko nataka. It is time to shout out your people uh-huh. and any final yeah. words. Big shout out! Big shout out! Big big shout out! Kwa watu wangu alangata kutoka Mgumoine, Hairo, wase wa Nairobi West, South Sea na Karen Maze. Asanteni sana. Thank you, thank you so much for the support you've been giving me. Wase wenye wanatokea ma campaign marali. Asanteni, asanteni sana. Wase wangu wa South Sea jana tulikuwa pamoja pale. Vijana tuendelee eh, kuskuma na ku make sure tunauliza maswali na ku elect my leaders accountable. Mm. Uh, kwa watu wangu wa Langata mazeni jalasa hapa mheshimiwa wenyu Felix Oduor naomba kura yenu sana kwa unyenyekevu na upole sana when it comes to 9th August also naombea baba mm. eh, naombea baba pia kwa sababu mimi ni wazimi azimio yeah. asante sana alright Take it away. All right. Mazee big up kila mtu asikiza vibes radio. First of all big up kwa box na Brayo hapa. Kev Matara big up. Makev na Mabrayo ni the same. Ni the same. Same osa. Same same osa. Just come Otada. Oh Otada. Yeah Otada. Otada. Yeah. All right. Big up yourself Mazee. Thank you so much for having us na pia yeah. DJ Palivo. ZJ big up yourself na yeah. the entire vibes radio for having us this morning. Mazee big up jeshi yote ya Daguriti South. Jeshi nice. ya Faya Muma. Hatari tena sana jeshi yangu mbogi yangu Mazee waga imeniaminia. Big up yourself. Unaje Faya Muma na Ranka Independence. Unataka ku big up jeshi yangu ya dimbo jeshi yangu ya ngando jeshi yangu ya riruta massive big up yourselves jeshi ya waidhaka jeshi ya mutuini ni jeshi ya odhiro yeah. the one thing by the way i must yeah. tell you that yeah. dagoreti south has the biggest number of rastafarians nice. across this country eh kama kuna watu wa rasta na hizi nywele zetu mnaziona gazi ya dagoreti south na ni zile origi origi this is my nilikuwa nilikuwa naangalia zako mzee nasema as in this def this clearly a difference unaona unaona zile zile kuna zile za salon sasa zetu origi sasa zetu origi so dago big up 
Let me talk with Ethiopia. Kabisa. Was <laughs> conscious. Now, Pia, big right. up all the mothers in our in our constituency, the, right. all the women yeah. who've really stood with Jambi mm. and who believe in the cause. Running as an independent mm. candidate has not been easy. Mm -hmm. And there's a team behind me. So big up yourselves. They know themselves. Mm. The gentlemen who've also been pushing me. Um, and everyone who's really supported this campaign through t-shirts, through banners. That at t-shirt we got Kizuza. Wase wana buy. Nice. Wase wana buy. Yeah. So maze big up yourselves and thank you so much for believing in this because I do believe that Dagodesh South is going to be in the safe hands of Mary Jambi Koikai come August the 9th. Fire Muma Jambi. My name is the second on the ballot paper. Nice. Yani, ukiangalia tu ballot paper hivi jina ya pili ni Mary Jambi Koikai. <laughs> Mara dada tunekatika po hivona tunengia bunge in a decent time, in a different Dano. style. Dagodesh South itakuwa hata tena sana na tunasonga yeah. mbele. Maendeleo serious. No, no, let me tell you, women's mm. leadership mm. is totally different. Mm. It's totally, totally different. And I come with experience. Mm. I come with a lived experience. Coming from the Greater South, mm -hmm. I know the challenges that we face, and I will be able to solve them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. All right, guys, it's so nice, good to have nice, you here, nice. and, and and it's been a fantastic conversation. Yeah. Shout out to all the MVPs. Uh, Jambi, this one's for you. Yeah. So, Mr. Yeah. Mona Pendarig. Rebels and Rebelheads, hey. start your day the MVP way, where you are the MVP. No negative vibes. <laughs>